Hi there and welcome back to Babbin's Bees. If you have bees like this as a backyard beekeeper, then you need to react. This hive is too aggressive and we're gonna take care of it right now. If you're new to beekeeping and you have bees like this, then you need to react. This colony comes from a swarm that we captured a couple of years ago, and it was always very aggressive. We tried many different things to try to make um, the aggressiveness quite a bit less, but that really hasn't happened. That just didn't happen. So we're early spring right now. We're the beginning of April. Open up this hive and they are very aggressive, especially compared to the rest of our colonies. who are quite docile. Last year, what we did is we requeen this hive, and sometimes that does it. That'll help the kind of calm down the aggressiveness in this colony, but it's pretty obvious that that didn't work. So, in some cases, you just have to retire the hive and you have to be able to do things that just naturally let those bees die. So, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to find the queen, we're going to retire the queen. We're going to leave the colony open so that the bees can kind of go in and out to continue to forage. They may make, uh, try to make a, an emergency queen cell out of some of the eggs that are there, but we'll take those out. They haven't started to make drones yet, so we really want to stop the genetics from going to our other hives as we do splits throughout the year. It's certainly not something as a beekeeper that you want to do or like to do, but as a backyard beekeeper, you just can't have aggressive bees on your property. It's not fair to you, it's not fair to your neighbors, and you just really need to deal with them. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So as you can see, the bees are just kind of flying everywhere. They're, they're attacking, they're stinging. I've got really good gloves on, so they're not able to get through the gloves but they're very aggressive. And some of our other hives, we could go into the hive even without a suit and not be stung. In this one, you need your suit for sure. Not seeing the queen yet. You can see right there that bee stinging with the stinger in there.
you would have noticed in some of our other videos that sometimes we lightly tap the bees and they just gently move out of the way but you can see this is a very different story that when you tap these bees they become quite aggressive Certainly not to say they're not hardworking bees and that they don't forage and bring back lots of pollen and nectar, but they're just too aggressive to have in a backyard. It's only April the 10th and it's really just the first times that it's warm enough to open these hives and you can see this hive is is, is very large. It, it went into winter very large. The queen kept laying throughout the winter, um, which they normally do. Typically slows down drastically, but this is a massive hive. It's really big uh, and again just really too aggressive um, to have in the backyard. So we're going to keep searching for that queen. Tapping them lightly to get them to move so that we can see if we can find that queen. And there she is right there. So now that we've retired the queen, what I'm going to do is put this hive back together. And again, retiring the queen is certainly not step number one when you have an aggressive hive. Step number one really is to requeen that hive. You want to change the genetics inside that hive. So requeening can change the genetics and hopefully have a better temperament of bees. We did that last year. That didn't work. Uh, we had tried things the previous year as well and, and, it, and it didn't work. So really come springtime when we open that hive today and just saw how aggressive they are, especially compared to the rest of our bees. It's just not the aggression that we need or want on our property. Um, and really, if you're a backyard beekeeper, it's not pleasant to work in bees like this. Now, now that the queen is retired, what we'll do is, is allow the bees to continue to 
to, to flow inside and outside of the hive. They'll continue to forage. They'll go find nectar. They'll find pollen. They'll bring that back to the hive. And those resources then can be shared with our other hives. Or we can start some splits or, or make some nukes out of the resource that they're bringing in. Bees live about six weeks naturally. So they will naturally just die. Um, and I just thought that was a, a more humane way or a more fair way to to let them live out their life um, as they do, foraging and pollinating and, and doing that. And again, those resources can be shared with um, with the other hives, or we can use them for for splitting, making some nukes. So again, not a not a fun not a fun part of beekeeping. But again, if you're a backyard beekeeper, you need to be really cautious about uh, the aggressiveness of your bees. And again, most of ours are incredibly docile. This one just really stands out as being fairly aggressive. Um, so not a, not a not a pleasant day for us uh, to do this, but uh, on you know upward and onwards as they say to, to having more gentle bees. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on another video.